Um, now let's go into intonation with rising intonation. Okay, rising intonation happens when there's a yes or no question, when you're surprised about something, um, and then there's a few things with choice intonation, but mostly it's a yes or no question. Okay, so is he on his way? Can I, can I speak? Is he yes. on, is he on his way? Okay, is can he, I, yeah, let, here, do this for me. We're going to stress he and way. Is he on, he his, on way? his way? Is he on his way? Is yeah. he on his way? Exactly. <laughs> is he on his way? Yeah, and so, um, and then is the play on Friday? Is the play on Friday? Yeah, is there the you go. Is the play on Friday? Yep. Do we want to sit here? Do, do we want to sit here? Do Good. we want to sit here? Here, one thing I want to mention too, let's, let's take a sentence that could be a statement and, or could be a, um, whoo, got big lettering here, hold on. Because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we have sentences that could be a statement or it could be a question depending on how we use intonation. Uh, uh, we will sit here. So if I said, if I said, we will sit here, and you hear that falling intonation, we will sit here, we will sit here, kind of goes down, it's just a statement. When my intonation goes down at the end, it's a statement. But when, if I said, will we sit here? That is the question. Then it becomes a question, okay? Yeah. So the problem with some of my students is that they'll, they'll talk. Whenever they're talking, they kind of rise at the end of their sentence, even if they're just stating something. And yeah. so the problem there is, is their listener thinks that they're asking a question when they're really not, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Um, so go ahead and say that same statement both as a statement and then as a question. So will you do that for me? First do it as a statement with the falling intonation and then do yeah. it as a yes or no okay. question with the rising. Okay. We will sit here. Okay, yes, okay. Yep, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and the second rising. We will sit here. Yes, there you go. We will sit here. Yep. We will sit here. Yeah, so do you hear, you feel that difference as you as you change that tone at the end, it, it changes what you're communicating or how you're communicating. Yes. Okay. So did you have any other questions? Let's see. I can have... Here, let's do the dialogue real quick. I'll yeah. be... You be A, I'll be B, okay? Yes. Can you do that one? So you be A in this dialogue and I'll do B. It's kind of like an acting practice. <laughs> <laughs> so you yes. do, how was your weekend? How was your week how was your weekend? Uh -huh. And we're gonna on weekend we're gonna stress the first syllable and then we're gonna come down because it's not a yes or no question. It's just a question you know it's a question but it's not a yes or no so we're still gonna come down. So how was your weekend? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? How okay. was your weekend? Mm -hmm. My weekend was nice. My weekend was nice. My weekend was nice. And then he'd say, yeah. yeah. What did you do? No, what much. did you do? Okay, so real quick, this isn't a yes or no question, so we're still going to come down. So, what did you do? What did you do? Mm -hmm. What did you do? What did you do? Yeah. What did you do? Not yeah. much at all. Did you rest enough? I really did. How was your weekend? Okay, so in this one, we're having shifting stress. So what that means is that now the, the question is being asked again to the other person. So the first time we said it, we said, how was your weekend? So weekend was the new information, okay? But now, weekend is not our new information. Now it's, yeah. how is your weekend? 
Uh, yes. So now we're how shifting. Was your, yeah. How was your weekend? Good. How was your weekend? Not as good as your. Here, get that ending. Not as good as yours. <laughs> Not as good as yours. Mm -hmm. Oh no, what happened? Good. You're coming down. It's good. complicated. It's complicated. I'll tell you about it later. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you are doing okay. Yeah, good. Okay, I like that. Exactly. Good, good intonation there. Good job, Lynn.